Hello dear students. Today we are going to learn an interesting activity which is on exploring the relationship between exterior angle and the interior angles in a triangle. So here you can see that triangle ABC has been drawn and it has vertices ABC and we can see that there are three interior angles angle CAB, angle ABC and angle ACB. So there are three interior angles in this triangle ABC. How do we draw the exterior angle? So you know the process of uh, drawing the exterior angle. What we have to do is we can extend any of the side of the given triangle say for example I am extending the side BC to the point D so that we get an angle with the adjacent side of the line segment which we have extended so we see here we are getting an angle ACD this angle ACD is exterior angle. Same way you will see that if we extend the side CA, see how I am doing this, to the point E to make the ray CE, we get another angle here you can see this angle EAB. This is also an exterior angle of this triangle. Now can you tell me where will be the third exterior angle? Yes, we will be extending the side AB to the point F. And we see that, I hope it is visible, yes, we get another exterior angle, which is angle FBC, right? So now we are going to explore the relationship between the exterior angle and interior angles of the triangle. So for doing so, what I have done is, I have taken the replica of this triangle ABC, right? So this replica will help us to get this angle I am marking here, A and this is B and here it is C. So for the sake of convenience what we can do is we can label the angles interior angles as angle 1, angle 2 and angle 3. So here you see that this is angle 1 and here it is angle 2 and this is angle 3. Right. So, with the help of a pair of scissors, I'm going to cut this. So, here I have a piece containing angle 3. This is a piece containing angle 1. And this is a piece containing angle 2. So, this is angle 2. This is angle 1. And here it is angle 3. Right? I hope it is clear up to this step. Now observe carefully the relationship we have to explore between the exterior angle and the interior angles of the triangle. Now you see here what I am trying to do. I am moving this angle A and placing here 
and moving this angle B which is angle 2 here adjacent to angle 1 what do you notice what do you notice yes angle 1 plus angle 2 see this is angle 1 let me take another color this is angle 1 and this is angle 2 these are representing the interior opposite angles to the exterior angle A, C, D. So, angle A, C, D is angle 1 plus angle 2. Right? So, we observe that angle A, C, D is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. What is angle 1? Angle 1 is angle C, A, B. Plus angle 2 is angle A, B, C. So, what do you notice? That exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. I am placing them back. Now, let us see and verify the same for exterior angle E, A, B. Now, tell me by looking at this figure, which two interior angles will be opposite to angle E, A, B? Yes, we will be taking these two pieces and let us try to place Here and we see that it is completely covering the exterior angle. These two interior opposite angles, they are completely covering the exterior angle. So, let us write the statement from here. What is the name of this exterior angle? It is angle EAB. So, I am writing here. Angle EAB is equal to, this is angle 3, that is angle ACB. Angle 3 plus angle 2, which is equal to, write down the statement, angle 3 is angle ACB. Plus angle 2 is angle ABC. So we see that exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. I hope it is clear to you. Isn't it? Okay. Let us put it back. And you need to now verify for the third one. And first you are going to tell me the names of interior opposite angles for this exterior angle FBC. Yes, you are right. It will be angle A and angle C. These are the two exterior angles opposite to angle FBC. So I am just trying to see whether it completely covers the exterior angle. Yes. So we observe here that the exterior angle, angle FBC is equal to angle 1 plus angle 3, which is equal to angle BAC plus angle ACB. So what is the statement? The statement is the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of interior opposite angles. So you can write this statement in your notebook. Exterior angle 
of a triangle is equal to the sum of two interior opposite angles right so on the basis of this let us try to solve one question so here i am going to ask say for example i have taken a triangle a b c and here angle acd is exterior angle and its measurement is given to be 130 degrees and here it is given that angle b is 60 degrees can you tell me what will be the measure of angle a that is angle bac quickly tell me yes we have just learned that angle acd it is the exterior angle it is equal to angle bac plus angle abc by using the same result this result exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of the interior two interior opposite angles so here it is given that 130 degrees so this is equal to angle bac we need to find out plus angle abc it is 60 degrees so how much will be angle bac so angle therefore angle bac will be 130 degrees minus 60 degrees yes tell me what is the answer right it is 70 degrees i hope it is clear to you